Welcome back to the Four Podman, the wrestling podcast we bring you each and every week on the Dynamo Podcast Network. Head over to YouTube, smash that subscribe and bell notification button. If you'd like to contact the show, you'll get us on Facebook, the Four Podmen, on Twitter, at T Podmen, and obviously on the Dynamo Podcast Network on YouTube, or you could drop your comments into the video below. Joining me today for to continue our look back at some influential matches in the history of WWE, of course, Thomas Mahoney. Thomas, how you doing, my man? I'm doing grand. No, thanks for having me back. Good. Brilliant to have you on. Obviously, our viewers will recognise Thomas. He was one half of of one of the most successful collector's corners that we had in the series with his brother Stephen, who's a huge Undertaker fan. But most viewers will remember Stephen being the Jeff Hardy side of that collector's corner. So we said we'd come on today and take a look back at a match that Thomas has selected um, in the career of Jeff Hardy. Thomas, why don't you tell the viewers what's the match that you selected? The match I've uh, chosen is triple strap match at Armageddon. For the WWE Championship, Jeff Hardy, Triple H, and Edge. Nice. The first night I, I watched there, I thought I just thought it was a great match. And I just thought it'd be it'd be great to look back over on that match again. So I haven't, I haven't probably looked back over the match since I watched the four. So this is maybe the first time officially watching the whole lot. Did you think um on the night when you were watching it, did you think Jeff would win the belt? I actually didn't know. I didn't think he'd win it at all. No, I thought either Triple H would win or Edge would probably retain. So I didn't actually know what was going to happen. Mm. That's the good thing about a triple shot match. Yeah, and in terms of Jeff Hardy, um, I mean, obviously you're a huge Jeff Hardy fan. Um, when did the when did the whole influence with Jeff Hardy and the fandom with Jeff Hardy begin? What was the what attracted you to Jeff Hardy? But, but since back looking looking back at him through the the Archer era, and then uh, watching like him teaming up with Matt taking on the Dudleys and Edge and Christian and all that and. And I've just been a big fan of the Hardy since then, since the Archer there, and I've been watching a lot of the, lot of the, the documentaries as well. So I've been enjoying watching some of them and talking about their, their careers and all that, and their, their ups and downs and all that. And <clears throat> like Jeff being like open about his past and all that, and like the, the alcohol and all that stuff as well. And, <clears throat> and like, I've been a fan of the Hardys for years, like going all the way back to the Archer era. Yeah, he truly is his moniker, isn't he? Really, he really is a charismatic enigma. Like, and um, when exactly. you think of yeah. Jeff Hardy, he's um, he's so misunderstood at times, but he's so out there and he's so different. But a hell of a performer, a fantastic wrestler, and such a high flyer, and you know, so absolutely know, fantastic. He, he, yeah, he, 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 he sort of lives life on 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 the edge, you know. Mm. Yeah, absolutely. Well, I'll tell you what, let's get into the match then. It is Armageddon two thousand and eight. It is the triple threat match. And we get into this match, and let's let's walk back and look through it again. So whenever you're ready, let's go. Okay. Oh, no. I don't know. I don't know. Places went by Hayward Army. No, no, you're fine. It's all good. Is the match start on your end as well? Just started there now. So, you've just started, have you? Yeah, so this the superstars Perfect. are coming out of the ring now, so. Perfect. It's a Triple H coming down now. Yeah. Classic Triple H. He looks phenomenal, doesn't he? He's huge there. Monstrous looking. Yeah. I have to say, I was a huge Triple H fan back in the day. Still am, but like, I mean, when he got the haircut, it was so I was, weird, like, I was, it? I was. I was a Triple H fan myself, but yeah. as well. Once he got the haircut, though, I don't know. It just wasn't the same to me, like, you know. I know. Once he, once he got rid of the long hair, you know, he's, yeah. Yeah, it was so he went into the whole fucking you know, authority thing, you know. Yeah. But just when he got the hair cut and all, you know, when he goes up in the ring and he pours the water and all, it's not the same really without the hair. Sure, it's yes, it doesn't have the same impact, yeah. Yeah, absolutely. No, it's, it's not the same, no. Yeah. Fuck up the wet hair and the beard, the whole lot. 
I like that. Um, I like that Armageddon entrance way as well. It's a uh, the, the set. It's not too big. It's not overpowering. It's just nice. It's kind of like a, it's kind of like an ECW entrance, really, isn't it? Yeah, it's something simple. It's not because it's not too over the top. Yeah. yeah, it's very really good. Look at the crowd here now. The crowd are absolutely adorn them. <laughs> Quite a mixed crowd as well, isn't it? When you think about it, like, there's a good yeah. splattering there of Triple H fans now. In fairness, you know what I mean. Here he comes. He always gets a huge reception, doesn't he? He always, yeah. I wonder how he felt coming out now when he was going over to win the belt. Because he comes out, he comes out. He's such, he's such a, a laid back type of guy, you know. He comes out the exact same way as he always comes out. You know what I mean? But he must have been. I mean, he, his heart must be coming through his chest there now, and he's going to get the belt. <clears throat> I say he, he had to be nervous going into a big match like this, yeah. Mm. But not only that, <laughs> now, now that he was getting the, the the WWE Championship as well, like you know what I mean? Yeah, <clears throat> that afford to build. They don't afford to build up his nerves, yeah. Crowd are absolutely mental for it, Jeff Hardy. I don't know. I find I find with Jeff, even, even though he's kind of like he's a little bit out there and sometimes a little bit misunderstood, he's so over yeah. with the fan base. Like all the fans love Jeff Hardy. You know what I mean? He can't exactly. Yeah, despite despite everything he's going through with everything, the arrests yeah. and all as well, like the fans still respond to him. Yeah, yeah absolutely. And then of course that the. the the roof will lift off the building now once Edge comes out because Edge is champion. He was just unbelievable. Like, yeah. Jeff and Triple H having a bit of a stare down there, ref in the middle of them. Here's Edge now. Always loved Edge's ring jackets. His ring jackets were class, weren't they? Pyro going off looks absolutely quality. It was a great entrance. His entrance at SummerSlam was brilliant as well. Yeah, it was absolutely quality, wasn't it? That throwback, so good. Yeah, going back to the brood. Yeah, the old <clears throat> going back to the, the old brood style, which was good. It was very good. No one was expecting that. Edge of course looking amazing as well as always. Big crowd at it as well. When it pans out into your drain it there, it's a it's a big crowd for Armageddon, isn't it? Place is absolutely shockers. Yeah. Jeff getting announced gets a great reception. I'm so, I find it a little bit hard to hear. Yeah. Uh, you can see it in the crowd. You can see once they do the announcement, the crowd seems to be you can see Edge is pumped up for it Edge is dying to get Edge and Triple H dying to get a hold of each other yeah they are yeah. and they're just down to turn to each other yeah Jeff is just real laid back just relaxed and chilled as always two boys are on an edge trying to have a proper go off each other he phases them yeah There we go, straight out the edge. There you go, straight into edge. And the issue between Jeff and the edge, yeah. Good strong start from Jeff, wasn't it? Taking yeah, just straight out of the gate. They went straight after the door. Yeah, taking both boys up. Don't bother to him. Oh, 
splash. Splash in the corner. Double there we go. Splash. Double splash. And all this power to your motion. <laughs> Triple H dropping down into that Ric Flair kind of drop, but then he, he goes on all fours so Jeff can spring exactly. forward into the corner from <laughs> silly like a tag team move, wasn't it? <laughs> it is, yeah. Then he breaks up the count, of course. We're going out into the replay here now to see it. There he goes. Clash at your blade spot over the top rope. Uh, oh, oh, not so fast. That was brilliant by Edge, wasn't it? Jeff about to, to go over the top rope there onto Triple H. He just pulls him down real old school, heelish kind of way of doing it. Oh, yeah, there goes Edge. There goes Edge for a hop. There you go, slingshot. There you go. Edge. Beautiful, beautiful by Jeff Hardy. Beautiful cross body off the top rope. <coughs> oh, there was it. So please wear a big, big old clothesline. <laughs> he's so, he's so, um, he's so snug on those clotheslines the way he arches his arm and everything, isn't he? Like, it looks real yeah. heavy impact right in there, nice and tight. Like replay again, boom. And Jeff, of course, sells the oh, song. Well. And there goes Jeff in the barricade as usual. <laughs> <laughs> Never a normal bump when it comes to Jeff Hardy. Well, well, the two boys now, the two boys have made him look really strong. Right at the start of the match there with everything that he got in, you know. So that 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 bump obviously into the barrier was his breather time to take for the time off and the two boys could look each other as you do in these triple threats, classic way of, of putting them together. <laughs> Big boogie to sort of edges there was some triple H's face. Yeah. And um, he's getting the better of this exchange. Dr. Blitz is coming right and back. Trading bombs, as they say. Oh, there goes another big boom. Then goes H again. Oh, almost. Let's kick out Devin's Blitz. Kick out on the two. Triple H style. Oh, Mr. Clothesline. There, there you go. Flash at your place there with the old jumping high knee. Yeah. Oh, neck breaker there. It's classic Triple H stuff, isn't it? <coughs> Clothesline right in the corner. Let's start for another one. One for two. Well, the face buster. Yeah. And here comes Jeff again back in the ring. <laughs> the place for the pedigree. I was wondering where Jeff had gone. <laughs> oh. Got a face buster there for Jeff. So Blade's going for the pedigree once again. Going through it again. Second attempt. Whispering away and down goes Triple H. Awesome. Awesome. The way they sell the moves as well. <laughs> yeah, but just, just the technique of that. That's a nice little setup there where he had edge in the pedigree and Jeff comes over the top. Really, really nice. Yeah. Jeff as well, he's so accurate with them as well, isn't he? Like when you when you look at when you look at this, here's the replay on it. Like he's spot on with them, like you know, even even with the the acrobatics of the move and everything else, he's he's, he's spot on when he hits them. He's, he's, he's something else when he moves around, yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> now goes Triple H. Two boys are doing a fantastic job making Jeff. Oh, he's the end. oh missed it there. <laughs> missed up that time. Yeah. No better man than Edge to sort that though.
I'm the super backdrop. So here we go. Ah, uh, I remember this. I remember this part right here. Oh, oh. The edge making a random bat in the back of his neck. Crowd are proper into the match now. The way just the way just folds up on it as well. Jeff with a cover. Triple H breaks it up. Then you see the end replay. That was a bad fall for Edge anyway. You got the worst of it. Yeah, he felt that all right. That's a, that's a better And then you contribute to his thinking neck problems. Don't forget, whisper in the wind. Boom. Triple H counts it. Gets a kick to the stomach. Oh, counts the pedigree. Yeah, the little slingshot into the corner. The blade sells it well, goes with just... oh, the cardiac arrest. There we go. Nice. Again, nice and absolutely perfect on it. Oh, the old ledge automatic. There goes Jeff. <coughs> <laughs> and Jeff just gets the kick out. It's amazing when you look back at the matches as well, isn't it? Some of the things you don't pick up really, you know, until you look back at them like this, you know what I mean? The, like the boys were doing such a great job on, on making Jeff look really, really strong. Like. Yeah, it's great looking back on all matches like this. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, missed with the spear and then Triple H catches it in the corner. There's that leapfrog there. Oh, there goes Edge, closing all the ropes. Nice. Yeah, Jeff Hardy's in the, his, his element now. Except for the twist of fate, probably. Crowd are reacting to Jeff big time now. Yeah. Crowd on their feet. Over the twist of fate. He catches it. There we go. Which blade's going down. Was in no time going for this one, Tom. Then to the top rope. Crowd are electric for him. Oh, and he hits it. Beautiful. Over the tree. And edge. Here we go. Right on time. <laughs> Jeff gets dragged there over the ring. I'm kind of like you. Yeah, even, I'm kind of like you, even watching this now. Like even watching this now, you're still not sure that that Jeff's gonna. You know, you're looking at it and you're in the match and you're thinking, it still doesn't yeah. look like Jeff's gonna win. You know what I mean? Yeah, it doesn't now. <laughs> yep. Didn't get all the leaf frog though, just got enough of it to dodge the spear. Absolutely. How do you think Jeff will put his hair? Must have been an interesting <laughs> dynamic with, um, you know, Edge and the triple threat dropping the belt to Jeff because they've so much history. You know what I mean? There is a lot of history between and the, the TLC and everything there. else and all. Like, I remember when Horse came back on Raw to confront Edge. Edge looked at Jeff and said, I thought you were dead. <laughs> yeah. it, Edge, it was, Edge was so on the was surprised the when Jeff then. made his return. Mm. Edge was so on the money back then, wasn't mm. he, with his promos and everything and all. Yeah, he was, yeah. He always, he always was, yeah. Oh, there goes, one of the, there goes one of the crew. Edge straight into the barrier. How goes the best? That's gone. Jeff means business. Table's getting ripped asunder on the player's desk. Is it, even looking back at it's not even looking back now and seeing Taz there. Yeah, it is. And to, and to a point, JR as well. You yeah, know, and Jerry, Jerry Long well. and Jim Ross there as well. Joey Styles. No, that's not too bad. It's nice now. Match Striker. I like Striker on commentary. I thought he was really good. There goes Edge. Well, down stable. Match Striker was another time getting out of the way. Oh, there he goes. Getting out of here. 
<laughs> check out the steps. Let that scat and rip this on back. All the same, they must spend a fortune on those monitors. <laughs> Jeff is taking those punches to the face. So we're just setting up for the setting pedigree for the now. Pedigree through the table, yeah. yeah. Triple H walking the crowd as only he does. Jeff looking setting up for the pedigree. Jeff looking dead on his feet. And there's our edge. There's our edge comes in. Jeff going for his defeat, misses. There goes Edge. Oh, Spear. Oh. Awesome. Oh, him and Jeff Hardy flung at the table. Spear safe through the See, that's the great thing about triple, triple threat matches, the chaos. Yeah. The triple threat matches, you never know what's going to happen. True. And they always do a great job on the camera work as well because you don't see it come until it really comes into the picture. Like, you know, it's only at the end of the exactly, movie. Exactly. Yeah, the it, like, so it's, it's very much a surprise. Triple H, trying, Triple H trying to figure out now what he wants to do now, being the cerebral assassin. Yeah, the game. Let's see it again. Yeah. Hugo counters here. Counters there, just the feet. He goes, you should play something getting out of the way. <laughs> you set the point on a part of green out. Yeah. Oop. Edge the execution. There goes Triple H. Both men are down. Nice reversal. That's checking on both men. There you go. Jeff now where he's seen him. The spear. I just, I just teared in his hair. <laughs> oh, misses the spear into the spine buster. The old double A spine buster. Yeah. <clears throat> Classic old school stuff from Triple H. Yep. Yeah. Classic Triple H post. There you go. Setting up for another pedigree. Going through it again. And he hits it. Pedigree delivered to Edge. Now oh, here's Kozlov. Well, she played into the steps. I met a man Kozlov at a fan access at WrestleMania 25, I think it was. It's a big dude. Big, big dude. Here's Matt. There he is. There he is. There goes Matt to break things up now. Oh, Matt, there goes Matt into the barricade. <clears throat> Jeff heading to the top. What are you going to do now? You're to... Oh, he's going to do that because Kozlov pushed him off. You're right what you're saying, though. These matches, they do descend into chaos, don't they? Yeah, that's, that's, the, that's the good thing about triple threat matches. Stuff like this. This match when the fight off Kozlov. Can't do no good job of it. Matt and Kozlov <laughs> going at it. Edge and the ring start to come through. <laughs> Fans are willing to see the gradually getting back to his feet. He's just, just trying to drag his way back in the ring. Crowd around the feet for this one. They're pumped up for it. The spear. There you go. There's the spear. Ed's got what he wanted. He got the spear. One, two. Oh, almost, almost retained right there. Yeah. They're just like, what just happened? <laughs> We're tearing her out again. <clears throat> I 
and like edge comb for the chairs. That's it. Yep. And the center for the yellow concerto. Got the crazy look on his eyes. That's it. All chairs in the ring. For the yellow concerto. Then Jeff just comes in and grabs the chair off, not so fast. Boom! Chair off the head. <clears throat> I guess I'm going to get to the top. Crowd are going crazy. Oh. Triple H and Triple H again. Jeff hung up on the top rope again. Trying to get back to their feet. The way you said that is really good. There we go. Place going for the old pedigree. Oh, <clears throat> gets the pedigree. Slowly going to cross into the cover. Swan Town, there we go. Jeff gets the paint. One, two, three, and there it is. Crowd are going ballistic. The place just erupts. Look at the crowd. They can't believe it. Jeff's throwing chairs around. He's going absolutely crazy. Yeah, it's going bananas, is it? <laughs> Must be the absolute pinnacle of a career's work to arrive at the WWE yeah. Championship. Like, it's just... <clears throat> especially for a guy like him, it was like, you know, in terms of those championships at that level, he's seen kind of as an afterthought, even though he's so revered with the fans and stuff like that. Now, you know? Um, for him to for him to rise to that level and take the WWE Championship was certainly um, probably one of the greatest moments in his career, I'd imagine. I just thought the two boys did an outstanding job of making them look worthy of every bit of it. You know that kind of way. Look, he he didn't seem out of place in the match at all. You know what I mean? Yeah. The crowd are very happy. Yeah, it was, it, was a, it was a great match. There was something else, there was something else to watch. Dream to the fly. That's it. <laughs> Looking back on all of his total wins, you know, they. And the continental title, the all the hills, tag team titles, and all. I didn't, I didn't think, think this was one of the best ever. Yeah, that and the World League of the Championship. Yeah, certainly one of the pinnacles of his career, without a shadow of a doubt. And as you said earlier in the episode, especially for a guy who had so much trouble with his demons and stuff like that, and all, to come back and to get to that level, you know, to be in there with Triple H and Edge, who are just both outstanding, you know what I mean? For him to rise up out of that and win the belt, absolutely stellar for him. <clears throat> Crowd are absolutely going crazy. WWE champion, Jeff Hardy. Yep. <laughs> Is the soak it all in? There we go. That's the Jeff Hardy dance. So in terms of the impact of the match, I mean, you'd put that right up there, would you? That's that's right up there with his best matches, is it? 
Yeah, looking back on it, it's 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 great to look back on it again. Like for the first time, watching it all the way through since I watched the first night. Like the first night I watched that, I thought great. It was brilliant to see him win the the, the title after like all the stuff he gone through with his past and all that. To come back from all of that and to win the the WWE Championship, it was something else to watch and then watch them become world heavyweight champion then as well and. It's just, it was great to watch this. It was great to look back on it again and just relive it. Yeah, it was certainly a special moment for him, absolutely. Yeah, it was. It was definitely, definitely one of the greatest Friday moments ever. Yeah. A brilliant form as well. I mean, he put in so much hard work throughout his career and stuff like that as well, you know. So yeah. when you talk about a title exactly. brain being earned and stuff like that, you know. Yeah, it was a great performance by all of them, yeah. Yeah, the two boys, hats off to the two boys as well. They did an absolute stellar job. Yeah, Triple match. H and Edge. Yeah, it was a really perfect match, it was, yeah. Yeah, it was really nice. Um, but brilliant, yeah, that's great having you on. Really, really enjoyed it. Um, yeah, this has, I enjoyed it as well. Huh? Yeah, I enjoyed it as well, yeah. Yeah, this, has been, our, um, this has been our look back at Armageddon 2008 Triple Threat match. Jeff Hardy versus Edge versus Triple H for the WWE Championship. Absolutely stellar win. Love the t-shirt. Championship edition, of course. Um, brilliant stuff. Until next time, head over to YouTube, Dynamo Podcast Network. If you want to hit us up on Facebook, The Four Podmen, on Twitter, at T Podmen. Um, let us know your thoughts on this match as we look back at Jeff Hardy rising to the top of the mountain and winning the WWE Championship. Thomas, absolute pleasure. It was a pleasure being on the show. Thanks for having me back. It was, it was great doing the podcast. Great having you on. Until next time. Cheers, bud.